Hi everyone, my name is Barsha and my group members are Sporthi, Ali, AD, and Ayaka, and today we're going to be presenting our project on race and policing in San Antonio. So the motivation behind this project has been the recent movement against police brutality and misconduct as evidenced by protests across the country. So we wanted to take all the skills that we've learned this year and apply it in this context, specifically in regards to police stops. In the United States, there are around 20 million people on the road every year and 50,000 drivers are pulled over each day. This makes traffic stops the most common but surprisingly the least studied police interaction in the United States. In a few large scale studies that have been done, data shows that black drivers are 20% more likely to be pulled over than white drivers during the day but not at night. The veil of darkness hypothesizes that race becomes less significant during traffic stops at night because of the races of the motorists become less visible to police officers. Because of this, we decided to focus our data analysis on traffic stops around drivers' races and the time of day that they were pulled over. For this project, we chose to look into the policing data of San Antonio because it is a high crime city in our home state of Texas, but also because of the abundance of data that we were able to get access to. San Antonio has a crime index of four, signifying that 96% of the cities in the United States are actually safer than San Antonio, and there are 51 crimes for 1,000 San Antonio residents on average. Our primary data set is from the Stanford Open Policing Project, one of the only repositories of policing data in the US. Their team of researchers focuses on collecting and standardizing data on vehicle and pedestrian stops from law enforcement departments across the country. Our supplementary data set is from the United States Census Bureau. We use that data to provide us with population parameters for our statistical analysis. So the data questions that we're looking at concern race and traffic stops, particularly are there differences in traffic stop rates between different races, as well as the differences in the rate at which citations are issued and people are arrested between races, and is there a difference in the rate of traffic stops by time of day? For our data cleaning and wrangling, first we remove columns that didn't apply like vehicle registration date, then we change the name of columns for more conciseness like subject age just to age. Um, after that we change true and false values to one and zero respectively uh, in order to be um, more easily uh, counted for in use summation functions, and then we change the uh, date and time into a more workable format. Um, and then after that we condense the races into black, Hispanic, white, and other for uniformity across the data sets. For our exploratory data analysis, or EDA, we first constructed a series of pie charts that looked at the population of San Antonio, the percentage of citations or stops, and the percentage of arrests by race. From this, we noted that Black people had a higher percentage of stops and arrests relative to their population percentage in San Antonio. Unexpectedly, we also noted that the proportion of white people stopped and arrested was overrepresented compared to the population, and that the proportion of Hispanic people stopped and arrested was underrepresented compared to the population of San Antonio. We also looked at these percentages in the form of a bar graph in order to better compare the differences in population stop and arrest percentages within each race. In order to examine our veil of darkness theory, we constructed bar plots of police stops comparing race and time of day. Our graph to the left, Barsha, um, showed the number of stops by the hour of the day. From this, we found that the most stops happened during the day from 7 a.m. to approximately 7 p.m. From our graph on the right, which compared the percentage of each race stopped during the day and night, we noted that Hispanic people were stopped at a higher percentage during the day, and second, that white people were stopped at a lower percentage during the day. Since these two initial find findings supported the veil of darkness theory, we decided to examine these further through hypothesis testing. As Fortu was saying, we used A-B testing in order to see the effects of veiled darkness theory on Hispanic and white populations and see if there is statistical significance. On the graph on the left, we performed hypothesis testing on the Hispanic population. We found a p-value of zero, which means we reject the null hypothesis and can co conclude that Hispanics are statistically more likely to be stopped during the day. On the graph on the right, we performed hypothesis testing on the white population and got a, a p-value of one, which means we do not reject the null and can conclude that they are stopped equally between night and day. Next, we perform logistic regression and plotted the coefficients. If the coefficients for the race are negative, then that means that there's a low likelihood of that race being arrested. And if the coefficients are positive, that means that there's a high likelihood of that race being arrested. Here, we took a balanced sample of arrests and non-arrests where non-arrests were picked at random, then performed logistic regression 1,000 times on 1,000 different samples. In this graph, we have the black population's coefficients in blue and the white population's coefficients in red. Since the coefficients are primarily negative for the white population and positive for the black population, we can conclude that blacks have a high likelihood of being arrested if pulled over and whites have a low likelihood of being arrested if pulled over. Here we did the same thing with the same balanced data set, but with Hispanics and white population. And in contrast to the previous gra graph, we can see that Hispanics and whites both have pretty negative coefficients, which means that they both have a low likelihood of being arrested if pulled over. So here's a summary of our key findings. And um, with our veil of darkness hypothesis, we see that Hispanics are significantly more likely to be stopped during the day and blacks are more likely to be arrested, pulled over. And further research and advanced modeling is needed to determine whether a difference by race exists when controlling for other factors. Thank you guys so much for listening to our presentation.